Fire crews have contained an intense blaze which engulfed a building on the grounds of a Melbourne school. Let's go live to Julia Bradley. Julia, do we know how it started? Well, that is really forming part of the investigation, Laura. Fire Rescue Victoria are yet to determine the cause of the blaze. That's something they'll be working on this morning. But what we do have confirmation on is where exactly the blaze started. So we're told that it broke out initially at the rear of the church, which is within the Christchurch Grammar School complex. Now, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. It was actually the early learning centre that was destroyed by by the blaze. No one was inside at the time, thankfully, but we're told by the principal that at any one time about 100 three- and four-year-olds normally access that early learning centre and about 20 staff as well. It took a team effort. Fire Rescue Victoria on the ground very quickly at about 6.30 after that blaze broke out. And also the police were told about 35 firefighters were working to bring this blaze under control. They, the crews did a really good job to knock it down. It was a really intense fire and uh, the crews have done a really good job to uh, stop the spread considering how close they were to other buildings. Now, as you'd expect, given just how large this structure fire was, it did cause major traffic delays around South Yarra. So Punt Road, it was closed in both directions for quite a few hours. We've just heard from the principal of the Christchurch Grammar School here in South Yarra as well. He says, while it's so disappointing that this building has essentially been uh, burnt to the ground, it is such a relief that no one was inside at the time. As a, as a school and as, as a community, the, 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 the thing I think you worry about most is, is what happens to our, our, our children and our, and our staff. And yes, it's a relief. I mean, it's tragic that the building's burnt down, but it is a, it's a, it is a relief that no one was injured. And, and now, right next to this school is also a, another primary school, South Yarra Primary School, which thankfully wasn't impacted by the blaze, but we've just had confirmation from the Victorian Education Minister that that school will also be closed today, so students will be learning from home. Laura. Julia, thank you.